So the other day, we were in Austin, Texas. We did a Breaking Points live show. Shout out to everybody in Austin, Texas. The crowd was phenomenal. And one of the issues we debated, we did a bunch of debates. One of the issues we debated was this spy balloon thing and like how to respond to the, uh, you know, alleged Chinese spy balloon that was floating over the country. Now, the U.S. and U.S. media says this is a spy balloon. China insists this is just a weather balloon. Um, I mean, it's literally a giant white balloon with like Chinese writing on it, (laughs) which is like, okay. Um, And my commentary about the balloon was like, if I'm president and somebody comes up to me and tells me the situation, I'm going, wait, what's happening? I'm going to need a little more information because this sounds like something out of a movie or even like something out of a cartoon. You're telling me this incredibly high tech, powerful state that has satellites that can spy on us that has advanced technologies. They just got a balloon floating around with Chinese writing on it, basically saying, look at me, look at me, I'm spying on you. It's something about the story just doesn't smell right. It doesn't add up. It strikes me as kind of goofy and kind of silly. And I'm kind of amazed at how quickly everybody's like, yo, yep, Chinese spy balloon, shoot it down. Like everybody's just hook, line, and sinker bought every part of the story when I feel like there's so much that we're missing in this conversation. So my commentary was like, "You, you come to me and say, Sir, what should we do about this? I go, do about what? I'm going to need a little more information. (laughs) So anyway, China is now claiming the right to respond further after the U.S. shot down the spy balloon. So for those of you who don't know the specifics, this thing floated all the way across the country, and then it got out over the Atlantic, and that's when it was shot down. I believe it was shot down over Myrtle Beach. So interesting Um, my guess is whatever sort of, if it is a spy balloon, whatever sort of data it collected was probably sent off to the Chinese government before it was shot down. I don't think they need to physically get control of it again in order to, you know, get the data out of it. I mean, that's just my guess since we live in a highly technological era. So here's what they say in the New York Post. The Chinese government said Saturday that President Biden's decision to shoot down the spy balloon that crossed America was an excessive reaction and that it retains the right to respond further. China claims that its balloon was a civilian airship and not the spy device the U.S. claimed it to be and said that the U.S.'s decision to destroy its property seriously violates international convention, according to a statement obtained by the New York Times. Quote, in these circumstances, for the United States to insist on using armed force is clearly an excessive reaction that seriously violates international convention, the statement said. China will resolutely defend the legitimate rights and interests of the enterprise involved and retains the right to respond further. So now China's, you know, talking tough, talking a big game. Here's a picture of Xi right here. Um, Here's, I hope you guys are ready for my brilliant commentary on this. I hope you're sitting down. Ready? Here we go. Everybody just calm the hell down. Everybody just breathe. Everybody just take a step back, take a couple deep breaths, go drink a margarita, and let's reel it in a little bit. Let's reel it in a little. I mean, look, it's, None of us know what's going on, and everybody's, like, swinging their dick around, like, bro, I'm the tough guy, look out, I'm super tough, bro, I'll take you on over the balloon, no, I'll take you on over the balloon. But honestly, World War III popping off as a result of a hilarious white balloon with Chinese writing on it is all too perfect for this era that we're living in. I mean, there's so many, somebody made a good point uh, during the live show, I don't know if it was Marshall or Sager, they were like, China... How do we know that this isn't like, remember when Trump said, oh, we should bomb Russia, but put Chinese writing on the plane to make it look like China's bombing Russia to like throw them off? I mean, that's a goofy idea. It's a silly idea. But in all seriousness, how do we know this isn't that with the balloon? Or how do we know this isn't a situation where um, you shoot it down and whatever you're releasing from the balloon is questionable and uh, could lead to illness, right? We don't know like anything about this balloon. And to shoot it down, I think, was kind of dumb. And we'll get to what Trump did in a little bit, because there were some of these balloons that flew across the country that nobody noticed when he was president. We'll get to what he did. Um, So what we did was goofy, but now China's response is goofy, too. Like, bro, fucking relax. What are we talking about? What are we doing here? And I, I, the thing I dislike, the thing I think is really dumb, is the constant, like, everybody's putting their thumb in the other person's eye. And this is what happened. Remember when Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan? just to be like, F you to China. And now Kevin McCarthy's talking about doing the same thing. Like, people say, oh my God, there's no bipartisanship left in America. Oh, there's plenty of bipartisanship. And usually, when people in Washington are doing bipartisanship, they're agreeing to be wrong about something. 
So to go to Taiwan, just to stick your thumb in China's eye, just, hey, what, what if we sparked another international crisis and we prodded you guys to invade Taiwan? It's like, Jesus, don't? Maybe don't do that? Maybe don't do that. Now, I know they'd probably argue they're disincentivizing China from invading by showing some American support for Taiwan. I'm not sure I buy that. Um, you know, we got enough stuff to worry about, man. We really do. Given what's going on in Russia and Ukraine, and now you add this stuff on top of it, it just strikes me as wildly wildly unnecessary. Now, to President Biden, man, he just got baited into doing this. He really did. I mean, my guess is he was going to ignore the thing. He was going to totally ignore it. Um, but then you had a lot of right-wing media outrage about it. And so then Biden was like, okay, let's shoot it down. And it's not like those people who were dumping on him are going to turn around now and go, sir, brilliant move. You did the right thing. No, they're just going to find another way to attack him. They're just going to find another angle to attack him. So he just, he got baited by right-wing media. Now, I mentioned Trump. During Trump's time in office, according to the Pentagon, there were three instances exactly like this, where these Chinese spy balloons floated across the country. You know what Trump did? Bupkis. He did nothing. Now, you might be surprised by my commentary here, but I'm going to defend Trump. Doing nothing, I think, was the correct response. Again, we're talking about a, a highly technologically advanced state in China. We're talking about a country that potentially spies on all these millions of people because of TikTok, where people like willingly hand their data over, correct? Um, we're talking about satellites that spy on all different U.S. facilities. We're they have 14,000 ways of getting information. And so something about this story doesn't add up, where it's a big white balloon with Chinese writing, when everybody's like, that's the thing that's spying on us, bro. Something about that doesn't add up. But even if it is spying on us, add to the list of the 14,000 other ways in which they spy on us. And by the way, you think we're so clean in this? We're also spying on them. So I just want everybody to bring it down. Everybody relax. And so my guess is they told Trump when he was president, sir, there's a Chinese spy balloon floating over the country. And he's like, okay, give me more specifics about it. And they're like, well, we don't know all that much. And he's like, okay, what would you like me to do about it? And they're like, sir, we don't know. We're just coming to you. And he goes, all right, whatever, let it be. Now, I don't, is that, is that being a traitor or treasonous or soft or weak? No, I think it's just when, when there's a lack of more detailed information, a lack of a real reason to spring into action over it. I mean, if you hear a story where you got this balloon and it's spraying anthrax across the country, then you shoot the fucking thing down, right? But if it's like, we don't know what it's doing. Maybe it's spying, maybe it's not. They say it's a weather balloon. We think it's a spy balloon. It's floating across the country, but they already have all these other ways of spying on us. We don't even know exactly what's, well, in that scenario, you go, all right, what are you going to do? No reason to create an international crisis because we want to look, we're macho, tough guys, bro. We're so tough, bro. There's this, this perception of strength that's just like comical. Like in order to be strong, it's, I'm just going to shoot shit down, bro. Mm, I'm so strong, bro. And it's like, you look kind of dumb when you do stuff like that. You look really dumb. Again, it would have been hilarious if they go to shoot this thing down and then it releases like a biological weapon or something. Biological agent chemical warfare, whatever it is. And it's like the only reason why that spreads is because a bunch of idiots decided we're going to shoot it down to be tough, bro. Everybody just reel it in. And uh, by the way, again, I'm not just limiting my commentary here to the US, also to China. Fucking relax. So yeah, they decided to shoot it down and now you're out there like, we reserve the right to respond. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Get over yourself. Because you know damn well if our balloon was floating in, in their country they would shoot it down. And then if we said we have a right to respond, they'd be like, you were, you violated our airspace, bitch. So what are you talking about? And look, my commentary in that scenario would be exactly the same. I'd say, really? You know we're spying on you in 17,000 ways with the CIA and the NSA, and now you're going to look at the balloon and say, this is an existential threat, and you're going to shoot... Everybody just relax. Everybody just relax. And then, by the way, uh, Blinken canceled a trip to China to meet with his counterpart, which means what? It means we're... Now we're what? We're, we're ending diplomacy because of a, a balloon that looks like it's from Cartoon Network? We're ending diplomacy. So di no diplomacy allowed. Come on, man. It's just so dumb. Anyway, there you have it. Um, everybody take the temperature down. Everybody relax. Everybody pop a Xanax, you know, watch some HBO or some Netflix. Let's chill. Let's hit reset. And then let's, let's reemerge here because the path that we're on over a stupid balloon is like, the dumbest thing I've ever seen.
If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.